Previously, we have checked out the colors of Nimbin, known as the alternative lifestyle of Australia, and aside from the drama that holds us for quite a bit of a road trip, we managed to isolate and continue our road trip to the mid-north coast of Australia. In this new episode, we can't hold our excitement. In this beautiful seaside town of Port Macquarie, known for its beaches and wildlife, and south of Port Macquarie is a family farm called Bagel Maze and Winery. Hi, my name is Ernest and I love sharing with you my thoughts through lifestyle, awareness, travel and gratitude. We have arrived at the beautiful place called Port Macquarie. If you are driving down the coastline, then you'll find Port Macquarie, Coffs Harbour, Camp Sea, Southwest Rocks. Those are the ones that we have been trying and aiming to visit because there's so much things to do here and see. Um, the beautiful beaches here is just so amazing. But at the moment, it's more of like it's more of like catching the sun sunrise. So you better wake up early in the morning. And if you want a spacious beach on the daytime, especially in the sunny weather, then it's the best time to go and wake up really early in the morning and continue your way to the beach. Now, we are here at the Flint's Beach. It's very famous here in Port Macquarie and everyone is coming down now. It's around nine o'clock in the morning and nine o'clock is already bustling and there's so many cars now parking because they want to catch the first wave in the morning. As what I said, um, everyone comes here early in the morning to catch the first wave. Um, it's, it's so interesting because if you're a surfer, and if you are also wanted to just hang out on the beach early in the morning, then this place is the best place for you to hang out. But I reckon because due to the flood recently, then it will be not quite clean enough to swim at the moment. Um, we've had a recent flood which causes a lot of destructions here in Australia, especially in the coastline and the river and the seawater has been overflowing recently. So it's not really good idea to swim but because we're here we're just gonna enjoy the beauty of this beautiful place I was thinking as well what are the lifestyle of people here they must have a very good life because they live close to the coastline and in the beach so maybe if you have a, a life balanced lifestyle if you vlog as a lifestyle maybe you can do a yoga in the morning and teach people on your vlog so what I said before, this town is bustling with a lot of beaches. Apparently there are 17 gorgeous beaches around here in Port Macquarie. And if you want to do a coastal walk, you can do that. You can just follow the track. Um, there's around like 8 minutes, 10 minutes. It, it's so easy to track all the beaches here because it's a coastal area. All you have to do is just walk all around and follow the path and the information. And maybe there is some arrows. Well, I've never been to one of these beaches here in terms of the coastal walk because 
I'm just here for a day and having here for within 24 hours it doesn't have enough time so you make sure you stay longer in this beautiful Port Macquarie. Aside from the beach here, closer to the beach, they have behind me is the Port Macquarie um, Cafe and if you feel like hanging out there, having a cup of coffee in the morning, it's, it's really good. Maze is a working vineyards and a winery and they grow all of their own grapes and produce and all wines on the site. You can enjoy a wine tasting at a cellar door or enjoy a local cheese and meat platter while overlooking the vineyards, this beautiful vineyards behind me. So Bago Winery and Vineyards is nestled in a picturesque valley surrounded by towering eucalyptus trees, rolling countryside and acres of vines and a short scenic drive off the Pacific Highway south of Port Macquarie. It is perched on a hill and a cellar door and the pergola overlooks the maze and the vineyards making it an ideal spot to sit and take in the scenery and enjoy wine tasting and then relax with a glass of wine, coffee or indulge in a cheese or meat platter offering a local produce from around the region. This is the Baker Wine. Welcome to the maze. We just have access to the maze. This is so exciting. So when you enter the maze, you have to punch a code. And this is it. This is the first entrance to the maze and this is the beginning. Let's go get lost. <laughs> Okay, I'm still finding my way out. I've been here for like 30 minutes and I couldn't find my way out. They said it will take you about 45 minutes to just um, go around the maze. But it's so interesting and it's so fun. Okay, if you look at this one, which way? That one? Or this one? Which is which? 
I can't decide. That tower, this is the first tower. It's so close yet so far. find a pink one. No. Anyone else find a pink one? Okay, maybe it's coming up. I think it's the exit. I hope we're almost there. I've been here 24 hours. So just a total of 48 hours, right? Trapped inside. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we finally made it out from the maze. So it took us probably an hour and a half or two hours just to get to get out of the maze. And it's quite really tricky because you keep on coming back into the center. And um, from the center, there's so many pathways or directions. Either you're going to the left, or going to the right, but. Once you get into the center, it's gonna, it's gonna come into your head. So, so um, I advise for you if you want an adventure in a big vineyard on a winery, this is the best place for you. I would really recommend this maze, the Bago Maze here at Wohop. <laughs> 